Hey guys, so today I will be sharing with you my cell pip writing tips. So if we go over again the test format for cell pip writing, first is there's only you will have 53 to 60 minutes for cell pip writing in total. And actually there's only two main tasks. First task is writing an email and second task is responding to survey questions. So it seems very simple, but I'll be sharing with you a template for each task that I created that will help you kind of give format and structure to how you write the email. And at the same time, let's not forget that for cell pip writing, each task will require 150 to 200 words submission. Um, so try to stay within that limit. Don't go below 150 and don't go above 200 uh, because this will impact your score as well. So I will share with you the two templates um, that you can have for cell pip writing. So first is in writing an email. So it's, this format is very simple. So you start off with either to whom it may concern or if the prompt already tells you the name of who you're talking to, you can share or write there, dear Mark or dear Brian. Then you start off with my name is Dorothy and introduce yourself, who you are in the prompt. Again, if the prop already says that, you know, you are a gym member or you are a community person. So my name is Dorothy. I am an avid uh, member of your gym located in blah, 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 blah. And the purpose of my writing today is to blank. So the prop will also tell you what the main objective of the email is. You just have to reword it and put it in this blank. And then you come up with three main points that you want to talk about and each main point at least have one to two sentences to support it. And then once you have the three main points, you end with, I appreciate your consideration and I look forward to hear from you. Um, and then you end with sincerely, then your name, Dorothy. So because it's an email, it's important to have the opening greeting and also the closing remarks of your email. So next is self pip writing task two. Here, you'll be given a scenario and there will be two options. So you just have to choose which option you prefer. So here, um, you start off by saying the discussion on reiterate the problem that's given in the prompt already has been going on an ongoing issue amongst the blank. And the blank will also be in the prompt. Either, you know, this is a problem for schools or a problem of parents, etc. So you just write it there. Then you add personally, because again, it's asking for your opinion. I think which, and then you choose which option you prefer. Option A would be a better choice. Even though option B, the one you did not choose, has its advantages, I believe that option A would have more practical benefits for the blank. So it can be the people, community, building, city. And then, so that's your second kind of paragraph and then your third paragraph will be to start option a which is what you chose and then highlight one to two benefits of option a and then second after that you put moreover which is just to say the opposite of and why you're not choosing option b highlight one to two disadvantages of option b and then from there, you summarize. Given the above reasons, I opine. Opine just means, in my opinion, that option A would be the better choice. Everyone in the blank would feel elated over the decision. So this is a good um, kind of closer. And if you want, or if you still have the word count, you can share like, I appreciate the opportunity to provide my honest input on this specific matter. Because again, it's just asking for your opinion. So here, it's also nice because technically you are giving your opinion. You should, and there are two options. You should be using words that are comparing. So, you know, uh, option A can be cheaper, better. Um, yeah, so use comparison words to share why it's better and why the other option is not as attractive for you. Okay, so those are my self writing templates. Good luck.